Welcome to the University Writing Program's Guide on Installing the Canvas Assessment Tool, also known as Portfolium, to your writing intensive courses. This assessment tool is used to perform broad programmatic assessments for writing intensive courses across all undergraduate departments and programs at ECU in order to comply with SACS accreditation policies. In this section, we will walk you step-by-step step through the process for adding the Canvas Assessment Tool to your course. Let's get started by opening Canvas for ECU in your preferred browser. Access Canvas at canvas.ecu.edu and log in using your ECU credentials. Once you're logged in, access your dashboard on the left bar marked by a gauge icon and select the course you wish to add the Canvas Assessment Tool to. For this video, we will be using the Example Canvas course as our target, marked with the purple outline on the screen. Click on the course you wish to add the tool to, and look on the right side of the home screen of the course. You'll see a course status bar. Click on the option on the course status bar labeled Import from Commons. Search UW Port in the search bar above. You may see multiple options here if faculty have created versions of the assignment themselves and saved it to the Commons. Select the University Writing Portfolio tool that is published under the name William Paul Banks. It will look like this. Once selected, you can read the preview and the details of the tool on the main page. If you regularly teach writing intensive courses before importing this module for the first time, we recommend clicking Add to Favorites so that you can more quickly find the right module in future semesters. Look to the right side for the Import slash Download button and click that to add the tool to your course. Once clicked, you can choose which course to add the tool to. If you teach multiple sections of writing intensive courses, you can choose to add the tool to all of them at this time, or you can repeat this process and add it one by one. Once you've selected your course and clicked the Import into Course button, you'll see a green bar appear alerting you that the import of the tool has begun. It may take a few seconds for the tool to successfully import, so don't be surprised if it doesn't pop up immediately. Likewise, it can take up to 15 minutes for the imported module to appear in your Canvas course, so please be patient. If the module does not appear, please reach out to ITCS Support Services at ECU. From here, Return to your dashboard and select the Canvas course you imported the tool into to proceed. When you're in the course, look at the course menu on the left-hand side. Click Assignments. Under the Assignments page, you should see an Imported Assignments drop-down menu at the bottom. The Canvas Assessment tool will appear as University Writing Portfolio, as shown on your screen, outlined in purple. Click the assignment title University Writing Portfolio UW Port to continue. Once selected, you will see the basic assignment. Included in the basic assignment are the four common questions that we ask all students to answer as part of submitting materials to the portfolio. Of the five university writing outcomes, two of them are based on how students answer these questions about their writing processes. Many professors choose to ask for something more sophisticated, such as a one to two page writer's memo, in addition to the completed project itself. You are welcome to add to this as much as you want, however, we ask that you keep the core questions in some format and add to them rather than subtract elements. Since the answers to these four questions are part of our ongoing assessments, we want to make sure we have the student responses to at least these four items. As we noted in the previous screen, many faculty will add to these core questions. These instructions are included here just as a reminder and so that you have a starting template and can be modified on the next screen. You're now ready to click the Edit button on the top right of the frame to complete the module installation. After you enter the Assignment Editing window, you can change the questions and the rest of the assignment details just as you can with any other assignment in Canvas. You can also add points to associate with the assignment or move it to a different assignment group if you want to. This can make it easy to organize your modules if you use that feature in Canvas. By default, it is set up as complete slash incomplete. But if you prefer to assign points or a percentage of the course grade in order to incentivize your students to complete the upload, you would do that on this screen. At this point, you need to connect the assignment in Canvas to our external tool to collect and assess all the work. Because Portfolium is an external tool, 
the University Writing Program can create assessments without having to access your Canvas courses, which means that faculty will not be asked for additional materials as part of routine writing assessments for the University Writing Program. So, to complete this setup, click on the drop-down box under Submission Type, as seen here, and select External Tool. If you have added the Outcomes Assessment to assignments in the past, you will notice that the name is changed from Portfolium to Canvas Outcomes Assessment Grade Exchange, as shown here. Once you find it, click the tool and then click Select to return to the editing window. You'll see the external tool URL populated in the search box if the tool is connected correctly. From here, you can change any other assignment details, such as available dates and due dates before saving. Once you're done changing the details of the assignment, don't forget to click Save in the bottom right. Clicking Save will take you back to the assignment page, where you'll see the assignment looks a little different. Before, you saw just the instruction template we provided, but now you should also see below that information an embedded window with a gray header. In the header is the Canvas logo on the left and the option to Open in Portfolium on the right. This option to open in Portfolium is useful later when you're checking student submissions, but more on that soon. To create a new assignment. What you are doing at this point is creating a version of the assignment in the assessment tool so that both versions can communicate with each other. This will allow you to assess or mark complete or incomplete, and it will pass back to your Canvas gradebook automatically with which students have or haven't completed the assignment in case you plan to award points or percentages. At this point, the first bit of information is repeated, but the start boxes must be filled to continue. You can copy and paste the assignment details from the imported assignments here, or to save time, you can just type see instructions in Canvas in order to have something in the required instructions box. These instructions will not appear to the students in Canvas when they submit their materials. You are also required to tag at least one skill. In addition to any other skills you may choose to add, please add UW Port to the Skills box, which helps us track entries across student portfolios. Other tags may be useful for departmental assessment purposes or tracking specific learning skills. And if you're interested in using these materials for department or program level assessments, please contact Dr. Will Banks in the University Writing Program. He would be happy to talk with you about how you can use these same pieces of writing for internal assessments. Next, Select your due date and time to match the date and time you selected earlier in the process. These dates and times do not matter for our assessment, but if they differ from what is in Canvas, then students may appear to have turned in their materials late in the Canvas gradebook. So just be aware that that can happen in case you have predetermined late assignment point deductions set up in Canvas. Below the date and time, select Writing as the category for the assessment. You'll notice in this dropdown that there may be other departments or skills listed but writing must be selected. At this point in time, it is not possible to add multiple departments or programs to the categories option. Under scoring type, you want this choice to reflect whatever scoring type you chose in Canvas. For example, if you used complete slash incomplete in Canvas, then you'd choose pass slash fail here in Portfolio. The last thing to do is select the advanced options dropdown at the bottom of the list and expand it. The Portfolio tool was initially designed to help students showcase their work before and after graduation. Students can make all sorts of academic and schoolwork public and showcase it in an online portfolio that resembles LinkedIn. Students can enter their personal portfolios in the Portfolio platform and make private or public whatever assignments they want, but this has no impact on what you see in your course. We ask that you select the Keep Student Work Private After Submission option, this gives students full power to publish or not publish any of their own intellectual property in Portfolio by giving them full control over what assignments are visible to potential future employers. For students in certain disciplines or courses, particularly in cases where they may be working with proprietary or private information that is meant to be shared within the campus and class community only, you may not want to give students the option to share those specific assignments. In this case, you would select student work is sensitive and cannot be shared. This can help protect names, private information, and other sensitive data from being shared on the open web. If you choose this option, students cannot go into their personal portfolio accounts and share anything they submitted to this assignment. Obviously, they can share their own work in other contexts however they choose, 
but this option helps you to initiate a first level stop on sensitive pieces of writing so the students do not accidentally share something that they shouldn't. Your grade visibility selection has no impact on assessment purposes, so you may select either option that suits you. Note that if you have had a problem setting up the assessment tool to this point, you can always click Chat with an Expert to connect with 24-7 tech support from the designers of this tool. While you can contact experts on campus in ITCS, this is the fastest way for you and your students to ask questions and receive working solutions to your issues. In 2020, Canvas's parent company, Instructure, purchased Portfolium. So with time, the platforms will work even more seamlessly. But we mentioned this now so that you know you can contact the 24-7 support with either Canvas or Portfolium, and you should receive helpful support. Once you are finished, click Create Assignment. You will see a pop-up from Canvas telling you that your assignment has been successfully created. From here, you can view the assignment and make any edits that you wish. The next section of the video covers editing assignments after you've created them. After setting up a portfolio assignment in Canvas, you may discover that you missed something important. Perhaps you forgot to include the right skills, or you want to include additional skills with a particular assignment, or perhaps you decided to change the due date once the semester got underway and the planned schedule got off track. The following steps will help you edit the portfolio assignment. To edit an assignment you've already set up, Find the assignment in Canvas and click on the name of the assignment. Do not click Edit Assignment Settings. Instead, wait for the Portfolio module to load in the middle of the screen. You should see a screen similar to the one here. In the middle of the Portfolio module window, you should see your course ID, followed by the name of the assignment, University Writing Portfolio. Click the course ID. Its location on the screen is outlined in purple here. Click the box next to University Writing Portfolio, and a set of gray buttons will appear above the assignment. Click Edit Assignment, and you will see a page like the one where you originally created the portfolio assignment. Edit any information you need to edit, and then click Update at the bottom of the page. You'll be taken back to the page in Canvas for this assignment. At the end of the term, you are going to want to check off that students have completed the University Writing Portfolio assignment. You will start this activity in Canvas, but because Portfolium is an external tool, it will work best if you move through Canvas and into Portfolium. The instructions here explain how to do that and then come back to Canvas. Log into your Canvas course and find your university writing portfolio assignment. Once students have submitted materials, you will see their names, date submitted, and a score button in blue. If students have started but not finished their submissions, you will see a gray button that reads Unstarted. This means that students have gotten as far in Canvas as viewing the assignment, but have not begun to upload yet. You will not see student names in this list unless they have at least clicked on the assignment in Canvas. So do not be alarmed if you check this early and do not see all of your students in the portfolio list. If you try to score these pieces or mark them complete in the mini window in Canvas, you may find the small window frustrating. Instead, click on Open in Portfolio on the dark gray bar, and you will have a pop-up window or new tab that will provide more digital space to work. Optionally, you can sort the list of names in order to see just those that have been submitted. This may be useful if students have had a large window of time during which to submit, but you don't want to wait until everyone has submitted to check these off. To do that, click the gray All Statuses button and choose the Submitted option from the drop-down menu. You will then see a list of students who have completed the University Writing Portfolio submission. Click the blue Score icon by each student you want to score. When you click Score, you will see a pop-up window in the middle of your screen that will let you review the submitted materials, provide any feedback you'd like to, and grade the portfolio submission. In this window, the student's documents will show up on the left. You can scroll up and down a document in the frame and you can click the forward and backward buttons to move to the other documents the student has uploaded. If you need to see the full file for some reason, clicking the file link below the text box will allow you to download that file. If students forgot to upload a file, you may choose Request Revision and ask students to provide the missing materials through a pop-up window in which you can write a message about what is missing or incomplete. 
Once you have a numerical grade or choose pass or fail, you will see that submit score in the bottom right part of the window will now be active. Clicking that will finish your evaluation. When you finish with your scoring in the portfolio window, you can close that window and return to Canvas. The scores or completion marks will be listed in your gradebook.